Ladies and gentlemen, brand new, very cold Rolling Heritage video. And today we are gonna fix a car which hasn't been on the channel yet. This beauty. This is my 2002 Saab 9.3 2 liter turbo, turbo interior, cruise control, air conditioning, uh, heated seats, go on. It's the anniversary edition, so it has the carbon dashboard panel. It is also the SE spec, so it's the sport edition. And there, what you hear over there is Visse. That is 240. Today we are gonna do something to the Zap. And what we are gonna do is actually change the alternator. On this car it's a pretty big job, so prepare yourself. Uh, this is a how-to video, so if you're not gonna change this thing, you can watch it for fun or not. But over here we have Wissa, and he right. should have the new alternator with him. So yeah, let's go. So guys, here's the car. We have it inside, as you can see. Um, over here we have the engine. Two liter turbo, and this is what we are gonna do today. Over here we have a nice box with the new alternator. And over here, so we have the engine, and behind the engine, over there, is the old alternator. And what you need to do is over here you can see the tensioner for the belt and over there you see the alternator so first thing you need to do is get the belt off and then we can remove the complete alternator so guys the car is up in the air we are now gonna unbolt the um, air filter so we're gonna remove this hose clamp and then I think it is just pressed in there I do see a bracket down there but we're gonna take this one out and we're also gonna take the wheel off already so we can find out what we exactly need to do to get this hidden thing out of there so guys to just make it easier we are actually gonna remove this strut brace so it's one bolt over here one bolt over here and just loosening up those those don't need to really come out fully but that um, you can do it if you wanna I want to have the extra space. Um, the thing we also did is of course removed the air cleaner, air filter. So um, air filter is actually, I need to say it correctly, it's pressed in over here and one bolt over there and the hose clamp, that's it. So we have that out, so you can see the belt over here. We now need to get rid of the belt and if I go down here and put on the flashlight, I have removed this inner panel which is just one 10 millimeter and two eight millimeter bolts. And that is your alternator with a, I thought it was eight millimeter hex screw bolt that holds it in on the lower bottom. And the top is also, I thought an eight millimeter hex, but we'll see about that. This is a very big job, but we are gonna do it. And you are too, so. Over here, we have the belt. The belt is already off in our engine. Down here you have the alternator and over here you have a nice square hole which will fit a socket extension. The reason for taking off the strut brace is you will hit the strut brace when you're pressing this in. If you pull this backwards you can actually pull the tensioner back as you can see which works perfectly and when you pull the tensioner back you will automatically pull this uh, belt back. You can see it over there happening, right in your face. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now the belt is loose. So the hard part is getting a new belt on later. But uh, for now, we are gonna focus on deattaching the complete alternator. But if you already are at the step of removing the belt and stuff, you are doing great. Guys, here is the Saab. Um, 
just to be clear we are a bit further in the process than I wanted to for this video because I wanted to make it super clear for you guys but it's very difficult to reach one of those bolts you have two bolts in the top of the alternators alternator and I don't exactly know where I put them right now oh wait here so we have these bolts it's an 8 millimeter hex drive Allen key so um, over here hey mister hello hi you want to bother me kid so over here you can see that's one of the mounting points for the alternator and on top you see that one over there but actually when I put my camera in here you can see it this is the another hole so this is a hole and yeah over there is my alternator right now so the fun fact is your alternator is placed on those two bolts you can either get this one out that's easy from here you can heat it up a bit and then we just pulled it out no problem at all the other bolt the one on the top I am wondering why Saab did not think of this um, in, the, in the factory but I am pretty sure they just put the complete engine with alternator in the, in, in the, in the engine bay at once but the easiest way to replace the alternator is drill a hole here and put some metal tubing in there weld it shut so you can normally just reach the bolt but they didn't do that so now comes the hard part what you can do is put some uh, wood on your jack jack your engine slightly a bit up just slightly because it's of course an aluminum uh, block and uh, oil pan then down here Underneath this pulley, if you can get this pulley off, it will be uh, way easier for you. But we couldn't because my um, Allen key uh, bolt in there is uh, turned around and just in bad shape. So we did, it, we did it like the engine is showed right here. So over here you can see the alternator. It's already it fall it fell down when we were we, when we were working. But um, below here is the bolt. So the bolt is actually around here. To get this one out, you need some kind of Allen key. But what you need is actually an Allen key, 8 mm with a huge end to go to the right. You can buy those, that shouldn't be a problem. But to get the right one, we just made one ourselves. So I have my welding machine over there and we made a big of a mess. But I made this one. This is just an old wrench I had laying around and this is a, an 8 millimeter socket and what you can do is put this one in the engine bay and then turn it around this worked like a charm so if you can find in the store an um, allen key wrench 8 millimeter and just a long one with the um, yeah with a good length so you can make a turn then you, then you will be fine too but i don't have that and i don't want to buy one so i just made one but that is exactly what you need. You need to get this bolt, which is exactly in the front of the tool, as you can see. You need to get this bolt turned around. And with this tool, one-handed, you can turn this bolt around just in between the pulleys, because this tool will be positioned like this, and then you can get the bolt out. After that, you need to remove the exhaust. Over here, you have one uh, lambda sound and two so those sensors are actually located behind the engine here these are the plugs and they are pressed into a metal bracket that you can see right there that metal bracket you can snap those um, plugs and you can push them down so you have your complete lambda sound sensors over here so if you pressed this clip and the clip on the other side and on this the same you can get those two out the lower one is the rear plug and the upper one over here the top one is the front plug when you have those all disconnected you can disconnect the manifold down here one two and below there is three which Wisse is actually undoing right now and when we come down here you have here one clamp this one two bolts 30 millimeter you can get that loose and then after you undo the two rubber 
mounting points for your exhaust. You can see one over there and one over there. You can just completely pull down the exhaust with the two lambda suns in there. No hassle with getting those out. And then you should be able to just take your alternator and just lay it down there. And then repeat the complete process. We're still here. We are still here. And the old alternator is uh, there. So, yeah, this is the, the nasty piece of uh, machinery <laughs> you need to replace. Um, the bad thing about this whole job is just only that one single bolt. And on my car, it's also one nut of the exhaust manifold, but of the downpipe. But there is a good thing, and I want to show you guys that. Um, let's flip the camera on. over here. We have the downpipe, and as you can see, this nut is loose, that one is loose, and the one on the bottom is just turning and turning and turning and not coming off. So that one is uh, actually broken on mine. So I really hope I can seal my exhaust when you're all building it together. And as you can see, if you just pull out the rubber pieces, you can wiggle this exhaust back and forth, and you can actually just see the alternator over there so it's all just very easy doable so we can now try to put this back and then try to put the complete um, manifold back while I am struggling with not only this lower bolt because the lower bolt here is pretty easy but also let's see if you can see it for you guys let's see yep that one that one that bolt you can see it the one with the circle or what I'm gonna do with the editing around it so yeah very nice new alternator is in let's let's uh, complete this build everything went well we eventually used the special two for the final bit of the top bolt and the shorten it Allen key to get the first part in and it works like a charm so if you can find something like that or make it like I did then you will be fine doing this job on your own or like I do with two people. So this is now working its way around the pattern of the belts. So we just make a little sign over there and yeah, I'm just waiting with the extension set to uh, pull the tensioner back so this can put this final bit on. And I don't know if it's working or not, but maybe I need to put the camera down. Do I need to? <laughs> I'm gonna help him uh, a bit, guys. I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, new air filter, new alternator. She is running. I only need to fix that one bolt from the exhaust. So, from the exhaust downpipe. Um, because it's not fully sealing, so I don't have full turbo pressure right now. But the alternator is working perfectly fine. As you can see, it's down there. Everything is nicely connected. Everything is done. So yeah, I think uh, it was a great day. I think, uh, yeah, we did it. Very nice. So now I only need to get some oil, I think, very fast be before the shop closes. Because, uh, yeah, I don't have very much oil in the engine. But uh, yeah, I think we did a great job. So, so if you guys want a home job and if you guys want to do this job at home, then yeah, this is how I did it. I'm not gonna say this is the exact way the factory did it, but it's the easiest way that you can do it at home. Again, I did make some tools for this. Um, you can do it without, just buy some Allen keys and use a very simple, uh, metal saw and just cut them up until they fit then you can do it eight millimeter allen keys and just some 13 uh, 13 10 and 8 millimeter bolts and you're done so this job costed me and Wissa around uh, five and a half hours today so yeah I think it's a, it's for an alternator it's just a crazy big job because we are used to what's over there a Volvo Amazon or a Volvo 240 like this storage bin right here <laughs> but uh, that will also be addressed in the next video 
But uh, yeah, for now, for today, the Saab video is over. My alternator is working again. I can go to my other job uh, tomorrow again. So that's really nice. And we are waiting for some pizza. So guys, thank you for, thank you for watching. If you like this video and if you change your own alternator, please just hit subscribe and I will see you guys next day. Bye bye.